There we go. I was like, something's not right here. Yes, and we just got. Uh, I remember correctly. I was, well, I don't. I didn't realize how brain dead I was today. Uh, yes, we got the lens of truth. All right. So what we need to do is take our ass. We can do it in style. Ba -na -na -na. What me? So, if you haven't seen this, HD Texture Pack, Ocarina of Time 3D, we have done all the child dungeons, we've done Forest Temple, Fire Temple, Water Temple. Water Temple was like stupidly easy. It was... You notice Link is uh, right-handed. You feel a little shorted though, why is that? If you look at my boy. Oh. I'm not gonna be getting all the things. No sense! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Everything got messed up. We'll be good now. How like even Nightbot's mad at you for that? Like the first ten minutes are always a bit. Always a bit slow for me. I woke up like not too long ago either. Usually, uh, lately I've been up kind of early. But today was not one of those days. All right, we got magic. Good. I guess I should have... I should go get... Actually, let's go get one thing first. Maybe one day my lifelong dream of seeing someone get the sun song will be fulfilled. I'm just picturing you going like, like the 20 years or, or like 25 years, 22 years, however long this game's been out. You're just like wandering around. Like you, you had your copy and like someone like ripped out the cartridge before you got the sun song and it like corrupted your game forever. And then like you got it on the 3DS and then like your game uh, got stolen or something. And then, right before you got the sun song, then you're gonna like watch a stream or something, and then the person like doesn't get the sun song. <laughs> One day. Unless I didn't get this sooner. It should be this one here. Uh, item. How did I know all that? I am a legend. Did we not break these? Okay, I was like, I thought we could. The Rally! Just, you literally come every single time I'm here. This is a new fairy fountain, by the way. I swear. <laughs> every time, right on time. That was so hype. 
The hypest waiting room on Twitch. As we say. Whoa, that's zoom in. <laughs> Link looks so surprised this time. Welcome, Dick Butt. I'm the great fairy of wisdom. I'll grant you an enhancement to your magic power. Receive it now. <laughs> yeah, they did. That was a change in the 3DS version. That's not even like the this version, like the HD version. Like that was a 3DS change. Your magic meter is enhanced. Your magic has been enhanced. Because you can also see her fingers. If you notice, like that's like the, that's the changes they were able to do was like they unblockified their fingers. You can actually see like little digits. You can actually see like uh, they put like a little bit of like bone structure and like muscle structure. That wasn't really there before. Like, things that wouldn't mess with, like, the hitboxes. I have twice as much magic power. Go back and see me. The zoom-ins on her vagina, though. They, I don't know what's that, that, what that's about. Yeah, right? Like, they're not mittens anymore. Like, even Link's hand. His is still kind of mitten-y. Some of it they can't change because, like, it's tied to, like, how the game works with, like, the animations and how things connect. So if you start changing that stuff... Um, a famous example is the Crash Bandicoot Trilogy remakes. You know, the ones with the fancy new graphics. Um, the games are actually pretty much one-to-one, -one, but they had one change to the game where on platforms, in the original game, you could stand on any part of a platform and not fall off. But in the remake, uh, the small platforms, if you're on the edges, you actually slip off them. So it actually makes the game, like, way harder than it actually was. So... That's where, that's where, like, doing these, like, changes can, like, have big effects. Because that was just, like, a little change in, like, the physics. Or, like, not even physics, it's just, like, just the way things interact. Just based on, like, the... making things more realistic. So anytime you still see, like, mittens and shit in these, like, remakes... Or, like, not remakes, but these, like, reimaginings. But that's why they can do stuff to the walls and all that. Because, like, this is just, like, a, a pitch... Or, like, polygons, but it's just, like, a flat polygon. They can just add shit to it. But you can still see the weird rock formation. Like how it juts there. Because they don't want to... Like it would change the landscape. And it would change... Like there's just so much shit it would change. Which they kind of did with Majora's Mask. 3DS. And everyone hated that. Because they just made a lot of stupid changes. But I, I won't get into that right now. That's like literally like a 10 minute... Yeah, that's, that's why, like, some people, like, that's when people talk about, like, pure remakes and reimaginings and ones that are just prettier graphics and ones that are, like, like Final Fantasy VII Remake or Trials of Mana, where they, like, just basically made a new game that's in the same storyline, as opposed to stuff that's more like, uh, like this or the Secret of Mana Remake, where it's basically just the exact same, well, the Secret of Mana Remake's a bit different, because that's actually in a new engine, but they made it just as faithful as possible. Shadow, will you join me to the Eye of Truth and the Dallin Cake through the village? Well, good thing I got that shit. Oh, so we're gonna save. Oh, yeah. But this is what I find interesting, is that you can still use these simple polygon structures. And make things look so pretty. My, pr my <laughs> Professor Catnip's lecture hall. I mean, that's why I want, I want to do more of those type of videos, like, on YouTube. Like, right now, I'm just trying to get shit up. Like, just old streams and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm gonna, like, I, I'm just one person, so it's hard to, like, edit stuff sometimes. They changed this whole first section. There's no, uh... Oh! That's tricky. Can we use the hammer, actually? Oh, I got rid of the hammer. Do you remember when I talk about the trivia, though? Yeah. Oh, we have no bombs. Oh, okay. But, uh, uh... Give me those. Yeah, I I think that's one thing I just enjoy on a personal level. I'm always so fascinated by, like, the development of games and, like, how things became what they were or why decisions were made. I think that's just from, like, my artistic background. Like, I'm just curious... 
Like, because things are so similar. People try to be like, oh, it's just stupid games and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, not really. <laughs> if anything, I find... Sorry, I coughed. If anything, I find video games, like, more impressive. Because they have to take the art, the music, the, the playing, like, with code. You know what I mean? Like, actually creating the physical landscapes, physics. I mean, you can use an engine or whatever, but... Someone still wants to make that engine. And there's just so many more moving parts to it. But I do agree it would be cool to see, like, more mature stuff. And, like, not to say that there isn't. Oh, okay, you have to stop. You can't, you have to let go. So all those were, like, pointless. I think they're all pointless. So don't you have to do the one with, like, the skull on top? Was there even one with the skull on top? Oh, it's that one. Like, the, like, Ocarina... Oh, oh, I went the wrong way. Ocarina only recently had a lot of its information leaked. Um, Ocarina of Time was one of those infamous games where, like... It took, like, four years or some shit for them to make this game. Because they basically just kept scrapping it and restarting. Like, originally it looked like Zelda 1... But the Shadowling fight was already there, because like, that's like a Zelda 2 thing. I took, I, did, I took the longest way ever for that. Um, the medallions were supposed to be your arrows. Like, that's how you're going to use the fire, ice, and light arrows, because like the light medallion, all that stuff. The spiritual stones going in the ocarina. If you can't... Nothing to hit here, right? There's an entire maps. Kokriko Village used to look like a Zelda 2 town. We've, we've looked through some of this stuff before on stream. Dooku, uh, the Dooku tree was like a gigantic, like, huge, like, spiral thing with, like, multiple rooms and places and shit was nuts. That's the entrance and, like... Like no other one, eh? We're off to a good start today. Unless there's just another one, and it's just lying to me. Oh no, okay, there's only is one, okay. You can't... Like, you can't make that jump, can you? Let me eat my avocado toast. Is it Hyrule Historia? Or is it the... There's a few of them. Yo, Mario fan 82 and Eberk! Let's freaking go. Yo, we got the whole fucking... Oh, if it isn't the relative cat feline we. <laughs> Yo, I actually love that meme. Ah, uh, good old relative cat feline weed. I think you're the only person ever to understand what my name actually means. <laughs> I'll DM them what I'm looking at. Yeah, because there's also the the arts and crafts or whatever. There's like three books. Hey. So welcome to the Shadow Temple. Um, I'm already stumped. One thing is maybe there is like something on the like a switch or something. Like real sneaky shit. We already moved the thing. There's a locked door. There's no, like, hidden floor. We don't have the hover boots yet. That way, we need a key. That's the entrance. Hmm. You have the Majora's Mask manga? Do you ever look at it? Y'all want to see? Here. One, give me one sec.
Messi. I didn't want them. Bring me, bring me Gansel. Not my whole collection. Okay. All of these. So we got like Oracle of Ages, that Twilight Princess. It's two. There's like five parts of the Twilight Princess. Uh, we got uh, Four Swords. These are all the mangas, by the way. We got other Four Swords, the Adventures, Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time Part One, Jorah's Mask. This is probably the one you're talking about. This guy. Got uh, Ocarina Part 2 when he's an adult. Got uh, Phantom Hourglass. Ugh. We got uh, Seasons. And then I got some really cool shit. I got the A Link to the Past, like, comic back in the day. This thing is legendary. You might have the mini flu or just super dehydrated. Yo, I hope you feel better, man. That really sucks to hear. But this thing is sick. It's a link to the past, but retold as a crazy manga or a crazy comic. And then, Ocarina of Time, the novelization. So literally a chapter book of Ocarina of Time that I got to use on school reports and everything. So yeah. Yeah, just drink water, rest up. Yo, ginger ale all day. No, maybe don't. Actually, I don't know. It depends what you have. But usually ginger ale helps. But doing the resting part. Yeah, I guess if you're like throwing up and stuff, you have to still try to drink water, but it's hard, right? But yeah, I hope you feel better. But yeah. So, Varela, you also have to get all those books. That's also what you have to get. It's a little hundred now, but before that was bad as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If the symptoms are getting better, that's at least a good sign. Oh, I bet you it's some bullshit. You probably have to, like, shoot something or hit something. That's always been the thing with Master Quest. Some weird, like, you have to hit this face. Yeah, when you're throwing up or throwing down, you can't type down. You need more fluids. Yeah, no, it's de no, definitely right, because you're, you're expelling all the fluids, right? Shoot the torches. Oh my god! I didn't even see those! Bara! This game does this all the time. They definitely want you to do some chill. Oh, I need the fire arrows, don't I? I totally need fire arrows. The funny part is we almost got them, but I missed the sun, the sun rising by literally like a second. No, they're, like, I could, but I feel like this would just be easier. Let's just save our headache. Because I, because we've been doing, I have to do a lot of shit like that. And sometimes they give you the, sometimes they give you the, like a torch. A lot of those are ghost torches, so I don't know if they work properly. But yeah, keep us posted, man. Hope you're good. You know, it's like posting the Discord, too. Um, you know what the worst part about this? If only there was some kind of sun song. If only there was some kind of sun song. Some type of song. 
Am I a part of my Discord? I, I think you are. Gotta get the sun song. Everyone is feeling wrong. How are we gonna go, man? I don't even know, man. How are we gonna go like all day long? Want wanna go to the beat though? How are we gonna go compete though? Wanna get sun song, but it makes the game crash, so we can't get those feet, yo. And I just wanna keep going on, and everyone keeps on going long. And if I just keep and go went into my head, and I don't even know how we go along. Hey, there's a sun song. It goes. Do, 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 do. Luckily, it's an N64 game, so waiting for daytime will take like a minute. But. Oh, you wanna know what's funny, uh, Eberk? Uh, I've been putting more Super Mario World hacks on my. Uh, like on my NT and all that kind of stuff. And there's so many of them that are from Brazil. Where they're either in Portuguese, or it's like, here's like, shout outs to Br the Brazilian community. Or like, it's just like, ja, 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 and like all the like people's names and stuff. And I was like, that's kind of cool. There was one hack that I think is all in Portuguese. And I'm just like, hope it's not saying anything bad. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, Diagonal Mar Mario is a famous one. Yeah. Like, I, I know SMW, uh, specifically Lunar Mat, like all the tools I use, apparently they're, they're really big in Brazil. Probably because it's like, you can make a free game, right? You basically just can make unlimited Mario games for free. I was like, you better work. But yeah, so if, I'm not I don't, I'm not playing a Brazilian one today. We're playing a, a Mario weed hack. Where it's called Mario vs. The Police 2. That one's gonna be interesting. Maybe it is from Brazil. Who the fuck knows? Any game you get for free is big here. That's why Mario games are huge. Ah... Is, Pokemon Go must be so much fun in Brazil. I mean, except for like potentially getting like mugged or something, but like it must be so much fun. Like just because of how beautiful it is. Maybe threw up a few seconds after you arrived at the hospital. Fuck. Are you still at the hospital? I still need a computer. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. And Mario, you can do with a fucking. You were a hardcore Pokemon Go player. Yeah. And the thing I was gonna say with Super Mario World is I know. Lunar Magic was made for like 2001 computers. So basically anything can run it. And emulators, like Super Mario World emulators, or like Super Nintendo emulators, are like so easy. Oh, I played the wrong song. Like, I mean, easy in the sense that they like don't require resources. Exactly, you just need crap computer. And you don't even need to keep it live, right? You just need to like, de and, the, and the files are tiny. Like you can download an entire game and it's one megabyte. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's like a like a one megabyte game is huge. Like that's one of those like, oh shit. They actually like put effort into this one. This one's like two megabytes. Holy shit! I think the big ones are four megabytes, but it's like it's, it's like what like one MP3, not even. I th I think it's cool. I love seeing just all these different communities and like how things will happen in different countries. Like I know Mega Man is also big. In like really random countries, like just specifically Mega Man, and I think it's another one of those things because there's so many hacks and all that stuff, just free content of it. Let's save in case anything happens. You don't rockets, but the bugging part. That's why we play Poke Pokemon in huge groups. Mm. That's honestly that's kind of sick though, just like the more social aspect of it. Is there any other torches? I always get stumped by these goddamn hidden torches. Oh, I missed! I missed! Alright. Oh! I had one job, Link! <laughs> Right home now we're at the hospital until like 3 a.m. Fuck. So just rest up, enjoy the stream. <laughs> Spam the memes. If I was playing with an N64 controller, I wouldn't be having this issue. Cause he got little notches. Mixed circle is hard to do.
Wait, wait, wait. Winner got one of your high school. Wait, hold up. I just read this. You used to organize a local Pokemon Go PDP tournament. One of your ice creams. What, like, what's your ice cream? I think I remember we talked about this before. But give, give me... I, I need to know about your ice cream again. Yeah, it's the gelato. Oh, yeah. I fucking love gelato. Oh, fuck. That was not a... Yo, I love that kind of shit. I love, I love hearing that. Like, I, I wanna, I wish I could, like, not wish, but like, I would, I, I, I mean, I guess I, I wish I could find something I could do like that. I'm not sure if it, it would be like food, but like, you know, some kind of just like homemade something, something. But I guess I, I, I do do that, right? Like, I, I make content and music and all this shit. But I'd love to be able to make like some kind of like product. I was actually looking up, uh, not looking up, not, I wasn't like researching it, but I, I have, I saw it on Reddit or something about how Wrigley's chewing gum, you know, like just like the regular, like that 25 cent gum or whatever. They actually started out as like a different company. Like they were like, uh, I can't remember what the fuck they were, but they would basically just give out free, oh, we're dead. They'd give out free, uh, gum with what they were selling. And it turned out the gum was more popular than what they were selling. I think it was like baking soda or some shit. So they ended up just selling the gum because it just made more money. Yeah, we got booty blasted. We take more damage too. You have 105 players in your local WhatsApp Pokemon Go group. And that's just the local group. Holy shit. All right. I don't like you. You don't like me. Do we have any old ass milk? Oh my god! Stop opening that. We got nothing. You know what? How many bombs? Oh, we have like no bombs either. If I do this. Your homemade gelato isn't selling a lot after the pandemic. I could, I could totally see that. People put their food on the oven after you order to ensure you will not get it. Oh, interesting. I didn't know, like, there was, like, hardcore prevention measures. Like that, in place. Yeah, yeah no, I, I totally get what you're saying. Sometimes I wipe stuff down. Sometimes I just don't touch stuff for a few days. Or I'll just make sure to like really wash my hands and stuff after. I, I'm con I, anytime I go outside or inside, like I always wash my hands and stuff. But I live in an apartment building. If I lived in like a house or something, it'd be a bit different. Like I'd still wash my hands and stuff. But... So it's and the, it must be hard to like safely deliver the gelato, like all that stuff. And I can totally see how there's issues with that. You can't trust people to take the actual precautions as well. Yeah. I was thinking about doing like bike couriering, where it's like you work for like Uber Eats or one of those food delivery apps, and you can do it on your bike if you're like in a like I'm in a I can go to like a fairly popular like I'm not like in the middle of nowhere or anything. Obviously, I don't want to, like, dox myself. But, uh... What's it called? Um... But I would only do it if it's contactless. Which, honestly, a lot of them already say that. But I would just leave that shit, like, on, the, on their porch. I would not give a fuck. A lot of people prefer that, I've noticed. Yeah. Which is weird, because you think, like... Like, I feel like these businesses would, like, love contactless and all this stuff because, like, it's basically just, like, you can, it's, like, you can do more orders per hour. You don't have to, like, wait for customers and shit. And, like, there's all these, like, things. It's, like, you don't have to talk, deal with disgruntled people. No, you don't, you barely have to deal with people. Not that, like, people are bad or anything, but you know what I mean? There's always those, like, 
assholes who ruin it for everyone. I'm assuming we have to hit that switch with the claw. Although, which door did I open? Did I open, like, the right? Correct door or the wrong door? So that's the way we came. What was the point of these things? Do you always have the government is still doing the herd immunity plan down here? So business can't adapt to COVID properly. Uh, but I get, and I'm, I'm assuming you're not you're not lucky like Canada, where you're getting like some kind of bailout. Like I'm able to get uh, money because I have like a 50% reduction or more in my income. Which I definitely do. I've gotten so fucked. But the government's actually been kind of clutch for that. For me. Except they, they've totally dropped the ball on vaccines, but... At least I can, like, take the luxury of staying inside. And I still work. Like, I'm still teaching and stuff. But you can only do so much. Am I- is there anything else here? Like... Huh. Invisible chest, oh god. Government has given a whooping a hundred- Oh god. After what you told me about your currency. That's not a lot of money at all. That's like a dollar. <laughs> Fuck. For Ten bucks. Minimum wage is uh, 1100 Brazil a month. Yeah. Holy shit. It's like basically given like a hundred bucks or something and then being told like, yeah, you're good. I know the states got kind of fucked too on that stuff. Yeah, we got two keys. We can go back to the first part of the temple. Go through that one door. That was locked. Hit the wrong button. Also went the wrong way. It was just stellar performance all around. Link, what the fuck are you doing? Throw that chest early in the dungeon. Get out of here, you demos. Ah! 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 This area feels totally different. Ah! I don't know how much damage things do either. I feel like I probably should have had that on. There might have been a hidden chest or something. I feel like we're already a good way into the Shadow Temple. Link, what was that? What was that? Bro! I'm sorry, what? How much damage did that fall do? Parents are giving uh, part of their income to donate what we call literally a minimal basket. Uh, what you need for... Oh, okay, yeah. It's like a community pot. Or like a, a potluck kind of thing almost. But like with money. That's really cool. Lots of people are actually doing it because it depends on only the government. People that live die of starvation. That's fucked. And the worst part, too, is you probably can't even, like... 
You probably can't even, uh... Like, what do you call it? Like, you can't, like, you can't really do something about it. Like, you can, but you can't. Like, it sounds like it's a... Like, I know, I know it's a corrupted government and stuff, so it's like that kind of issue, right? Like, it's not just like a get the one person out of office kind of thing. It's like systematic issues. But I find it so interesting how the people are so, like, banded together. Despite all this. It's like survival ship of the people. And how we'll, like, fight for our ability to live. Alright, let's grab the fairies. So we can actually beat this dungeon. So we can actually beat this dungeon. We can't, we're trying, but there are a lot of people trying to take the president down. No way. But it never goes much forward. This constant will be after 2022 when we lose the elections. And it might even be like a Trump situation where they just get pardoned or some shit. Because their friends help them out. Uh, what do we need? What was the last one? Oh, yeah, box. I do like how they give you, like, spots for everything. But it's definitely a lot easier on a 3DS. But you do get used to it. What? Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Oh, he won't... <laughs> yeah, he... he... No, considering, like, you should probably be afraid to walk the streets kind of thing right after. <laughs> that's not me. That's just, like, a, a saying. I'm not trying to actually say anything fucked up. But it's, like, one of those things, right? You're probably going to... Exactly, right? That's what I assumed would happen, was that kind of thing, where it's like... Something will still happen, but it might not... It won't be the severity, or... Just enough for what it is. I mean, in some of these cases... It's like, if you're causing people to starve, like, holy shit. That's just, like, inhuman. But anyways, that's... We're not here to get depressed. I mean, we're in the Shadow Temple, so maybe. Oh god, POTS! Honestly, it gives me hope. The only thing I'd say is that it does give me hope that the people do band together like that. Turn the temple here's gathered how his blood history of greed and hatred. This temple is fucked up. It's oppression time, right? We're just trying to fit the theme of today. Fit the theme of the temple. Uh, what, what is that? What is that sound? Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh god, it's more like invisible fire. Oh, it's this fuck. Ah! Stop! Which one is it, though? Two, three, one. It's not that. Not every yo master quest is basically just like. Uh, oh, you're thinking. Oh, you're doing this. Oh. I still don't know if that did anything, or if we had to hit the ball or what.
Or if there's like a hidden eye or something. Oh, it did open this. Oh, okay. They just didn't make like a big deal about it. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize the lens shows you where he is in the floor. Stop touching me! Stop touching me! You don't get a big deal! This is fucking Master Quest! This guy's fucking scared of me, man. I never knew it showed you where he was on the floor. That's interesting. I was gonna say, this, this thing I feel like everyone forgets until you play it and you're always like, oh god. He looks real fucked up now. Once you realize he's a bit of a pussy, though, it's not, it's not a big deal. He's kind of... I'm in a bad spot, though. Now get out of here. The spin! I love that spin. Give me your magic. Hover boots? That's probably gonna be the map. Let's go. So much like the iron boots, hover boots are also an item now. So you don't have to uh, do a bunch of bullshit. All right. Ow. Like, that's the only real changes they made, whoops, to this, like, version of the game. Was just, like, adding in little quality of life things. I think they knew if they fucked with the game too much, people would get pissed. I wanted more bombs. All right, so we got the hover boots. They probably put it back there so that you go through the entire dungeon and forget about that door. But I didn't forget about that door. I feel clear with the board action. You enjoyed them quite a lot. I didn't enjoy the Dooku or Zora, Zora changes. The boss changes I didn't mind. Although I didn't like how Aldilawa was made a lot easier. He was so... Like, I li actually liked how... Whoops. I liked how his fight was before. Now it's kind of like, eh. Oh, no, this is the way we go, right? Goat, goat is still amazing. Goat, goat was pretty much exactly the same, so that was sick. G Georg? I actually like the new Georg. The, the twin mold fight, I feel like both of them suck. I feel like you just can't win with either. But uh, I like the new quest. I wish they added more quests. That was one thing I was really looking forward to. When they're like, we added new content. And it's just like that one new bottle. Which honestly was sick. I like learning more about the the windmill guy, the dog racing dude or whatever. Oh no no, it was uh, not what not him. It was the it was Ingo, or whatever the fuck his name is, the the Romani ranch guy. My bad, my mistake. Where he's like drunk or whatever. Oh no, the water temples. I mean, they made it piss easy in 3DS. Because much like the water temple in this. That's one change they did make to this, where they added, like, guiding lines to the water temple. They did that in this version as well. I don't know if you saw that. So it tells you which one it raises it to. It shows you exactly how to get to where. I, I liked how the original one was. I I hated the ice arrow change as well. Where you could only use the ice arrows in the, the magic floaty, glowy spots. That was really stupid. It made no sense. It used to be one of the funnest things in the game, just to, like, make ice platforms anywhere. I said, like, not a lot of these changes I didn't like. The graphical improvements I loved. The 30 FPS, um, the 3D camera movement with the right stick. You had a new 3DS. Like, everything besides the, like, gameplay changes were actually amazing. I don't think so, though. They just made it a slower game. The, the bank change, I don't really care. It doesn't really change much. Where the bank got changed a little bit. Being a more, uh... More, uh, what do you call it? 
it's, it's like in the clock. Which kind of makes more sense, I guess, thematically. Like, why I would... You're, although your money doesn't go through time, you're just robbing the bank. So I don't know if they forgot about that or what. Fuck off, guys. Yeah, but that kind of stuff just made it so easy. Like, it, to me, it defeated the whole point of the game. Like, the point of the game is that you're supposed to, like, manage your time. The new one, you don't have to manage shit. All you have to do is, like... No, I'm not a purist. I just don't understand why a game that's about going somewhere on a specific time would literally just let you warp to the specific time. The whole point of the game is that you have to actually be good at the game, not just, like, warp to the time you wanted. The other changes I already explained why they're bad, where they, they just slowed down the game for no reason, both with the Dooku and Zora swimming. The other stuff I don't really... Like, the other stuff I liked, like I said, the new quest... The stone mask being moved to make it easier was also a bit... I'm, I'm different on that. But that's the, the point is that you're not supposed to wait. The point is that you're supposed to schedule your shit in a way so that you get the stuff, you know what I mean, with like a little bit of a buffer. So you, you know what I mean? You're not just going to do like one quest. You're going to do like... You're trying to do like five things in a day. So you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to start the day. I'm going to try and do all these mini games. So I, I know there's time for that. Then once it gets to 12, I'll go here and try and do this thing. Once it's 2 o'clock, I'll go here and do this. Using like the Song of Soaring and stuff to actually like do that. You know what I mean? Like that, that to me is what the game was. But just like fast travel to the time. Like there's no skill anymore. From a casual player side, it was bad. I, I think it's just different generations of games. Majora's Mask is a 2000 game. Like, people nowadays like these type of things. To, to me, like, Majora's Mask always seemed more like a, like a Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley type of game, where it's more about your time management than it is about, like, seeing all the content just because you're playing the game. Like, you should only be allowed to see the content because you're good at the game. Or whatever it is. Like... You can't schedule the... Exactly, because... Then there, 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 still, there'd be literally no point in the game. <laughs> they didn't remove this one quest. They didn't remove it. I don't remember it being removed. I can literally when we sw I, I can literally boot it up right now. We can go look. I have it I have it on the ready. With my 100 percent complete. That 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 what you just said, the classic mode. That that's the only thing I wish they did. Then everyone would have been happy. Classic mode and new mode. Like how the Final Fantasy remasters or remakes do it. You play like, you know, OG or international or the remake mode or whatever. Cause yeah, I would I would have played through it twice still. I would have played both the old version and the new version. Yeah, the new Crash game's cool. Funny enough, speedrunners don't even use the life. No one uses the lives mode. I've never seen a single person use the actual life mode in that game. Speedrunners only use the the counter or the modern mode. Um, and those are like the people who play the games the most, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, even when Mario's ditched that shit. I don't think lives are necessarily BS. I think they just need to be, like, dealt with correctly. Like, I think a modern-day equivalent of it would be, like, giving you, like, a stock amount of them, but then they refresh every time you get to a new stage. Like, you always start with five retries or some shit. But like I said, it would have to be built around this concept. Much like how a roguelike is, or roguelite. Only those are sacred feet. Yeah, we got sacred feet. But even still, like, you can see that with tons of games. Where... I was close. Where they've clutched... Clutched onto things that, like, they really did not need to. 
think that was the issue with that new Balam Wonderland game. How do we get those? What the fuck? Is that just a way to get back up? That's interesting. I mean, I feel like a good modern example of that would be uh, Streets of Rage 4. That's a fantastic sequel to an arcade beat-em-up where it modernizes everything, but it doesn't, like, clutch on to its fucking pearls on all the stupid shit that no one likes. I, th I thought there had, there had to be something. I think that, that, that I'm just trying to like that, like that that reminds me of what you're talking about. Where it's like that that feels like that. That was all just for some arrows. Fucking troll, man. And I think it's just preference too. Like when I play a Mega Man game, I'll usually work with the lights. Like I play a lot of Mega Man, as you know. So if I like when I'm playing the hard hacks and stuff, a lot of them will either give like a lot of lights, or they give you a lot of E-tanks and shit anyway, which is nice. But Sometimes they, uh... Sometimes they don't. Can you not shoot through the grill? That's... That's silly. More of a super heat boy. Super meat boy. There's so many people in my chat love super meat boy. You can hit it through the wall. Game is trolling me right now. I won't lie, I had a lot of fun playing Super Meat Boy during the viewer request marathon. We're probably gonna finish it up. I don't see why not. Yeah, right? That's why I'm like... The creators were having a fucking giggle. Only one with the Eye of Truth will protect against- wait, what? Oh, because we can get the rock or whatever. This thing. I think this is the thing that blocks that path we couldn't do. Yeah, Super Meat Boy Forever, where it's the Endless Runner mobile game. That took like seven years to come out and was advertised at every single game's done quick for fucking years. And then it was actually terrible. Yeah, I heard about it. I know uh, some of the diehard Meat Boy fans were just not impressed. And not like, oh, it's because it's different. It's like literally just like, apparently it's just not that good or something. I haven't played it though. It might, it might just be misunderstood. Get out of here, bots. Played the online Flash one in the first beat, Super Meat Boy. Yeah, there's on, there only is like the original Flash game, Super Meat Boy, and Super Meat Boy Forever. That just came out. So that game was supposed to come out like five years ago. So go watch like old uh, Games Done Quick videos and you'll see them advertising it back in like 2015. Making sure we're not missing anything here. I think we just gotta keep holding it across like before. They're not giving it max support. This is why Windows will always be the best for gaming. I know Mac's gotten better, but... This shit always happens. But can't you just run it in a VM? And did he say it's never gonna get Mac support ever? Or is it just uh, right now? Because didn't like Linux support and stuff come later? I'm not sure though. I know he's just one dude. Maybe he just... Maybe the sales were just too low for Mac. Like, he just saw, like, the numbers and was like... Whoa, well, shit. He was telling me, yeah, 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 Apple changed stuff. They probably saw it wasn't going to be the same profit. If you get support for a game for seven years, you don't, you don't skip it. I wonder if Apple wanted, like, more money or something. For, like, game development. Like, for, like, making patches or... 
This sounds like a complain to Apple issue than a get mad at Meat Boy issue. So I, I just never see people game on Mac, like, ever. Besides, basically, you. I think, you're the, I think you're the first person I actually have ever heard of who, do, who does that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot they changed that, right? I forgot about that. So, yeah, so he probably doesn't want to remake the entire game in 64-bit. And he figures the, the diehards, like, you will probably just find a way, like, through emulation and stuff. Link! Is it the one game that doesn't work? Where am I? Where, where did it put me? Did it put me, like, at the beginning, beginning, beginning of all beginnings? The fuck? Why wouldn't it put me where back at the entrance I came through? What a weird dungeon. What a weird dungeon. Oh, they put it just out of reach. It's just the DLC that doesn't work. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna die. But I'm saying he probably only I, I can see like again, was it still just made by one person? He must have just found some reason why it was easier to make it only a 32 bit app, I guess. Maybe it works better on consoles or something. But that doesn't make sense either. I don't know. I would assume it's just a profit thing, if I were to guess. But I feel like if y'all made enough stink about it, maybe he'd do something. You know, like a Twitter campaign or something. The DOC is based on a mod that was Windows only. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying he probably saw that there's only like 10,000 people who plays on Mac or something. And was like, that's not worth a year of coding. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know how long it takes. I mean, can't you just buy it on another system? Like Switch, PS4, Xbox One, all those things. I was like, I thought I heard zombies. Yeah, no, it just, it does suck when it's, like, the final thing. I feel a little bit like that with uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, where I bought it on PS4. And then they were like, yo, the new DLC only on PS5. I'm like, bruh. Bruh. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I remember you saying consoles were expensive. I didn't know if uh, you were able to get one or whatever. It's like you were saying Macs are expensive and all that shit too, right? Five thousand. Holy shit. You must really, people must really fucking love Zelda. He had these hover boots for that one. This one, I don't know how we're gonna get you without taking damage. Or do we like cut across? Like diagonally.
Yeah. Yeah, because I remember you. Exactly, because I remember you mentioning that you only had it because of your brother. So I wasn't sure if you had other hookups. I almost had it without the lens of youth. Don't run into the spikes. I'm surprised we're still surviving. I'm a soul survivor. In a suitcase. Sir, what is this in your bag? Uh, it's a Mac. It is in Austria, so I have no access to it. You couldn't bring your console because you only bring one. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, fuck. It was right when I let go of shield. I let go of shield for three seconds. Like, not even three, like for a second. It was right when he jumped. 23 inch computer is two case. <laughs> no, 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 it's just a very large dildo. Don't worry about it. We're grabbing more fairies, fuck this. I feel like we're close. You just need to get the... Like, the way the Shadow Temple works, you kind of just get through it and you're done. There's still sort of that uh, that part, that maze part with the wooden wall or whatever that crushes you. There's also the... The boat. But once you're past the boat, you're pretty much done. It was sad too because it arrived broken because people thought, or people throw a suitcase in airports. I'm surprised, honestly, they were able to fix it. So I was actually gonna ask him, like, how did he get it without it? That was actually gonna be my next question. Like, how did he not break it? The answer is. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's the answer. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> All right, give me some of this. What we want? Yeah. Actually, wait, I should heal myself. That would make sense. Yeah, exactly. I always re I, I remember that when I used to own an iPod, like, 15 years ago or whatever. I had to bring it in for repair, and they were just like, here you go. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Nowadays, it doesn't matter, right, with all the iCloud, this and that. But back in the day, it was like, oh, I just lost everything. Of course, I kept backup, so it wasn't a big deal. Why did I quit? Even fix the box and everything. Yo. Wow, this computer still got the... They put the plastic wrap back on. Wow, they even put the... The zip ties and shit on. Wow. With the twist tie things. Well, they really went all out. It's like... It's like uh, I bought refurbished stuff from Nintendo. Here, I can show you. I have it like right here. Yeah, so I bought a, uh, an adapter, because I lost my SES Classic power adapter, and a, a new Wii sensor bar, because they were selling them for like 10 bucks, and I was like, might as well throw it in. Refurbished. Like, how is this refurbished? This is literally brand new. Refurbished. <laughs> the, the sensor bar looks more refurbished, though. Like, the sensor bar came in like a... But it still looks new, though. Yeah. 
they had to order. They just did the exact. They had to smuggle it in their own suitcase. It's probably sort of refurbished. They probably just like traded up the screen parts, yeah. So the rest of the computer is fine, yeah. They definitely found a home for that. I wonder how many computers they've just like gutted and thrown out. Wait, did we save? Oh, just in case. Like with the Nintendo stuff, I bought my Wii U from Nintendo. Uh, refurbished. Refurbished. It came brand new in a box, everything. All they did was slap a refurbished sticker. It looked fucking mint. There was not a single, it still works to this day. I'm pretty sure it was just they had so many new ones, they just called it refurbished. <laughs> just to sell them. But yeah, so, I, if they, I, I don't know if they have a Brazilian store or whatever. But Nintendo's actual, like, refurbished store has been so clutch. I've gotten so much stuff off it that's, that's like Nintendo seal of quality, where I think they just literally give you a new one. Or like at least it's going through Nintendo's repair stuff. They gave me a new Joy-Con when they couldn't fix mine. They just straight up gave me a brand new one. It was awesome. Oh, what's up, boy, man? We are in the Shadow Temple. It's been it's been taking a moment. We're talking about uh ah uh, that's why it's five thousand dollars for. Switch. It's all making sense. No, we uh we well we got grabbed by that spooky motherfucker. Like the 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 dude with the 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 fucking skin colored fucking Felix the cat looking motherfucker. The mini boss guy for the the hover boots. Still the best change where hover boots are an actual item. We actually just got wrecked in here. This is where we died. But PS5 is 5K. And it's sold officially. See, now Sony's just having a fucking laugh. I bet you Sony's gonna be like, we can't figure out why they're not selling in Brazil. We can't seem to figure it out, everyone. 5K US dollars. <laughs> Eight. It, that's what, like, 200 more than usual or something? It already is pretty fucking expensive in the States. And don't, don't even talk about Canada's prices. But yeah, that, that markup is nuts. Is that because of the import fees? And all that shit? Like, if it's not made in Brazil or some bullshit fee? And it's weird how Sony would do that, considering, as we've talked about, the PS2 being, like, such a, a staple. you think they would want to repeat that. But the PS5 is too expensive. Maybe they're going to try that with the PS4. Is the PS4 cheap, by chance? Or PS3s. I'm curious. Yeah, he was saying how they only got 100, 100 Brazilian as uh, as help for COVID. I think that, that might be the worst I've heard out of any country. Like, holy shit. You got in 2013. So you can imagine if they are cheap or not. Maybe? I don't know if your brother just smuggled, smuggled you in a PS3. So what was the point of this room? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's no point yet. Unless you really want to play Demon Souls. Or like up res PS4 games. Which honestly, some of them we're already getting to the point where like Final Fantasy 7 remake and all that's coming out, so I could see it being worth it. PS4 is still hella expensive. I wasn't I don't Sony is just nuts. Is there a point to this room?
Like, we used the key and everything. Like, is there no... You're outdated. PS4 is 4. 4.5k. Four, uh, 4. Daryl! Hey, it's half price. Half price. Would it be cheaper to actually import from another country? Is there like hidden torches I'm not seeing again? compass or anything I don't even know where else we can go we've kind of exhausted a lot of options here it's actually she to go have a weekend in Florida and buy it you know that sounds like a win-win for everyone except for don't go to Florida right now <laughs> but I, get, I totally get the sentiment though yeah like when it's literally cheaper to fly around the world More like that. Yeah, it's like half glass full, half glass empty, right? No, 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 no. Brazil can't be the problem. Okay, I feel like I've done any possible thing here. But we still don't have a key, so it either means it's in another section. And this was all just a big bait. French banned you from going there? Jesus. French. French, 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 French. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. I have exhausted everything. This is all just a big fucking lie. I'm Bandy too. <laughs> Get him, boys. Is there like something up there? Oh, I was like, do these not hurt you? Oh no, they, they hurt you. Where's the key? Where's the key? That was dumb. We're gonna take like a thousand damage too on that. Um. Hmm. We just at that point where I just have to go through every single place again and see what I missed. Ugh. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Um, I never did go on that side, actually. Uh, BS about importing. Uh, a pen display that you got recently for yourself would cost around 200 or 2,000k there. Uh, if it was uh, 1,400k to buy from China, tax and shipping included. The three months to arrive, and, but it, you saved 600. Was it the exact same product too? Like it wasn't even like a ripoff. It was like. The same thing. <sighs> I guess that's why they have the hook shot thing. Here I am trying to be stubborn. Fucking Link, dude. I don't think he wants to beat this. 
Someone's telling me Link doesn't want to beat this. Are you kidding me? I am... Don't know what's happening. Even register for the Brazilian warranty. Nice. Seems like we actually have a sale in Brazil. How did that happen? I don't know, sir. I didn't even know that existed. If I knew that was there, I wouldn't have been so gung-ho. Like, didn't we already hit this? I missed the effect the fire arrow thing used to do. Yeah, yeah, we already did it. Oh, I never went over here, though. French, 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 French. Bro, this temple has become nothing but rupee, fi rupee farming. Creation prices, and there's definitely markup. Not anywhere as bad as Brazil. Isn't your dollar stronger, though? Or Croatian money stronger? Or worth more? Stronger. I don't know what term to use. Work it harder, make it better, do it faster. Base switch console is 438. That's basically how much it is in Canada. That's like the same price. <laughs> Ours is 399 plus tax, right? Uh, the people do here is actually sell those tons of products. And then go to the S. Let's say you already own a Switch. Go in there, bring it to someone who's paid for it in advance. There's profits nowhere near. Oh, smart. I, I, I get what you're saying. It's almost like doing a, like a Craigslist Kijiji kind of thing, but across the world. Which is like a meetup thing. I always forget people, uh, lots of people have Craigslist, but not everyone has Kijiji, and I always forget that. I remember buying Last of Us off Kijiji, and the guy made me meet him at his house, and it was like this like freckled, it looked like the kid from A Christmas Story, like the bully kid. It looked like exactly like that, like the, the red-headed bully kid. And uh, I remember him being like, how, how are you gonna, like what, like how do you know the game's gonna work? And I was like, dude, you just gave me your home address. So, like, if it doesn't work, like, I know where you live. And then he just, like, looked at me and he was so scared. And then he, like, closed the door. And I was like, maybe you shouldn't have people meet at your house. <laughs> the game worked perfectly, though. There was no issues. That kid was probably at home, like, please work. Please work. There was there nothing in there. Like, what? <laughs> buddy, uh, sold his video card to GG. Met the guy, put the video card in a shopping bag. Guy's buddy for work. He said yes, and that was that. When I bought my Xbox One off GG, they, uh... I actually went into the guy's apartment, and he, like, showed me how it worked and stuff. He showed me that it worked and everything. Look at this fucking troll shit, man. Whoa, uh, I just missed this. There's a friend of mine that plays poker professionally, so he goes to DS regularly for tournaments. We did that every time. Imagine how funny it'd be when he came to Brazil with a new iPad, new iPhone, new notebook, new consoles every time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all just for me. No! They're all just for me, bro. You mad, bro? Meanwhile, the state's charging me fucking $40 import fees on my Super NT. They did it right the last second, too. 
I already paid for everything. Everything was good. And the FedEx was like, Hey, motherfucker, we got we got your package. You want it though? Hey, you gotta pay 40 bucks, motherfucker. I was like, since when? I've ordered so much shit from the States. This is the first time I've ever been actually fucked by something. Probably because it was actually worth something. It wasn't like a cheap, like a ten dollar game or something. I just honestly stopped ordering from the states, unless it's like Amazon or something, like where it's like you know what I mean. You already know you're not gonna get fucked. But yeah, no. That like I said, the the NT was was different because that sold out that thing still sold out within 40 minutes but apparently i got mine before other people i think i'm the only crazy fuck who actually ordered one from canada because of how much it was like just the conversion i like i said they're a u.s company everything was u.s they the fact they even shipped to me was like they clearly did not want to ship to canada they they went out of their way to make it hard if you actually order uh they charge 20% of the product to send it home. And it's still cheaper. <laughs> that's a, you know, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. You know, that's a fuck system when it's still cheaper. <laughs> oh, we could have used the hover boots to walk over. That's what you're supposed to do. Put the spikes. All right, we're in the final part. I think this is the boat coming up. Okay, I'm gonna just save in case anything happens. Whenever I don't save, shit goes down. Oh, we need the iron. Give me iron or give me death. Oh, whoops. Yo, that roll though. My man walking. He vibing. He vibing though. That default N64 metal sound. <laughs> fall damage is so brutal in Master Quest. It's fucking Minecraft fall damage. Like, they punish you if you fall. I need to put both boots on. That would be much smarter than this. Also, that's, that's the Mario uh, Party wind sound. That's using like bobsled run and shit. That like, woo, that wishy whoosh sound. Did I ever play Breath of the Wild? Bro. My entire friend group pretty much was at my house. My friend literally brought his, his Wii U over while I played on my Wii U. And we both played the game at the same time. Yeah, Boyan Man was there the entire time. He pretty much saw the entire game. Through, through like not even like through all the different friend groups. I bought it on Wii U and Switch. I I pretty much, yeah. I'm going through 100%ing it right now. Just kind of slowly. Every now, like every week or so, I do another shrine or so. It was honestly such a cool experience. There was a funny moment where my one friend he like doesn't care about spoilers. Whoa! This guy didn't die. This guy didn't die. Guys, guys. No! No! I love them. I thought the shrines were amazing. I I loved everything about Breath of the Wild. Even the, the weapon breaking. I, every single thing I loved about it. I just wish it still had proper temples. Like what we're doing right now. That's, and if Breath of the Wild 2 just does like that stuff, plus adds proper temples, it'll be like probably my favorite game of all time. I think the issue with the shrines is that some if you go for all of them, 
you actually get to see how amazing some of them are. But if you only play like 40 of them or like 30 of them or something like that, or you know what I mean, just enough to beat the game, you might just get like 20 different major test of strengths and think that like all of them are a piece of shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it's, it's kind of luck based because you might get like the best shrines ever that are like puzzles and all this shit. Or you might get like literally the most boring fucking combat, whatever, stupid, whatever shrines. And some of them were fun to find. I actually like the ones where you have to do something in the overworld to find them. Like uh, melt an ice cube or burn something or find the dragon scales or whatever it was. Oh yeah, those guys scared the shit out of everyone, man. Everyone I played didn't like it so much. I'm a huge Zelda fan. I went in with an open mind. It's a fucking amazing game. So was there nothing else? Like, was there any point? Fuck off, there was a point. Yeah, you, at the bottom of the well, they put the lens of truth behind like eight different redoes. It was like, bro, what are you doing, Nintendo? The weapon breaking thing makes sense. If that's their complaint, it makes sense in the game. It actually rewards you for like doing stuff. Some people think it doesn't reward you, but to me it's the opposite, because you're always getting something new and better. Yeah, Ruin High Glow Castle is fucking amazing too. And also gets you amazing stuff. Either Master you won't die. That's the wrong game. That's only in Majora. Okay, we got a key. Where was the key door? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, ah. Good thing I checked. I've said, I've said this to my friends before, but Breath of the Wild kind of ruined like open world games for me in a way. Because I just love climbing on everything and going anywhere. Breath of the Wild is the first video game I ever played where I didn't feel like I was restricted in any way whatsoever. And that's absolutely why I love it. Snow, sunny, and rain all yesterday. Yo, yesterday was trippy. It wasn't even... Yeah, it was like snowing and sunny. Like, actual, like, a decent amount of snow, too. But it didn't really stay, but, like, it just snowed pretty hard. That guy tried to hump me in the air. What was that air hump action? No, 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 stop! He hurt himself! He hurt himself! No, stop! It's because we were playing Mother 3. I really want to play. Cadence of Hyrule, I haven't bought yet because it's like $50 Canadian. I'm just waiting for a sale. But that's the only, that's literally funny enough. I've played every single Zelda game ever made, except for Cadence of Hyrule. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have played it, Boyan, because it's only on the Switch. But um, and, and I haven't. I mean, I don't own it or anything, so you wouldn't have seen it there. But if you if you haven't seen it, it's Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but Zelda. And honestly, it looks. Better than Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Oh, is this like a shortcut as well? Ah, that's sick. Yo, look at this like modern game design here. Because now this was the first area of the temple. And we couldn't go through here the entire time. So I bet you the speed run for this. You saw trailers in review, yeah. Now, I mean, like I said, it's not like you probably never saw it, but you know what I mean. Like you probably just never had a chance to play it. It's more what I meant to say. More accurately. It has a bunch of DLC coming out as well. Which is why it's like 50 bucks. Because you have to. Because if you don't buy the DLC and stuff, it's kind of like, what's the point? Different than Necromancer. I love how they adapted the game to be Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Zelda song. Yeah, because I know that there's the overworld that's 
like always the same, right? But the dungeons are different. Or like, no, but it's random every game. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty excited for the Diamond Pearl remix. I've never actually played Diamond or Pearl. That's the only Pokemon game I've never played. And it looks like more of a traditional remake. So that might be a good game. And, the, and the, obviously the Legends Arceus Breath of the Wild ripoff one. That one looks dope too. Yeah, buying it for Sword and Shield. And also don't forget, Pokemon New Snap comes out on the 30th. You can get your pre-order from Walmart, except you can never pick it up. Apparently we don't even have to kill these guys. Yeah, I do remember that. I never forget the time you like showed me your DS Game Boy Advance Pokemon collection. And I was like, dude, why did you never tell me this? The fuck? Cause I I was I had a DS like its whole life. From the fat DS to the DS Lite. I've had flashcards. I've had like all the like I I had a huge collection. I still do. So it was like surprising. I was like, why was this never brought up? Like you know how many games and shit we could have played or like there's so much shit that could have been done. This... Also, Navi didn't warn us for shit. Maybe because I jumped off in time. Usually Navi warns you that you're gonna die here. What is this? Okay, uh, we can't go in here, right? Yo, th this statue is sick. I don't remember that. 3 3DS might be the most legendary console ever. Actually. People who don't think so just never owned one. <laughs> Actually. That was dumb. <laughs> Aww. It's funny because it's the console as we know that had such a rocky start with the Ambassador program. Street Pass was so fun. Going to the conventions and getting like hundreds of Street Passes. I still have every single puzzle thing ever. I have them all complete. They're all done. I think there may be like one that I don't have. But I can, I, I think I have them all though. I also like the themes, the Badger Arcade. But looking through my games, uh, Fire Emblem Echoes, uh, all the Phoenix Rights, the Pokemon games were, they were pretty good. Uh, Project Cross Zone, Smash Bros 3DS, Animal Crossing New Leaf is better than New Horizons. The, all the Zelda games, including A Link Between Worlds, which is like the best Zelda. Uh, Final Fantasy Curtain Call, that sick rhythm game. Uh, the Professor Layton games. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2 is pretty good. Metroid Samus Returns. Shin Megami Tensei 4. Yo, Mario 3D Land, Kingdom Hearts 3D. Uh, Chibi Robo Ziplash. Pretty much every single Zelda game ever. It's on the system. Especially if you have a new 3DS. You can play uh, Link to the Past. Do you have to go up on that ledge? Weird looking ledge there. Fuck. Fuck. Stop it! And yeah, exactly. And that's not even including all the DS games. It also has a very impressive homebrew scene. So if you like, uh, if you like homebrewing, there is a lot of shit. Okay, I shouldn't waste my magic. Stop! There's also like a lot of digital games. Outrun 3D with the 3DS effect is so good. I don't think that's the answer. Oh, the pots are just loading, dude. Oh, yeah, we have to blow that up. 
Timber! The statue always reminds me of Goldeneye. Okay, we still can't open that one door, but I think we can do it up on this ledge. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, isn't it? Like an eye thing? Is that not an eye? Maybe not. Golden Adder! I had to move the Golden Adder, because we're going to keep doing Mother 3 on Tuesday. Let's run Chapter 3 now. With Salsa. But we have to name the monkey. I don't know what we're going to name the monkey. I don't really trust chat on naming the monkey. Peter Wiener. We just got rid of it? Great. I don't think we go through that door. Okay. Give me arrows. Give me arrows or give me death. Shouldn't trust chat. Why not, Veralai? We need that boss key, though. Isn't it in that side room? The Peter and Wiener were fantastic. The, the sad parts of the game are gonna be interesting, to, to say the least. To say the least. Where are we going? Like, we need a boss key. But where do we get a boss key? If I was a boss key... Larry Capidja? I don't think I know who that is. Oh, so what's going on, David? Welcome, welcome. Should I, should I know who they are? Exactly what I wanted to do. Exactly according to plan. There's nothing. That was just just a gold skalulata. Gold skalulata. Hmm. And when I did this, did this do anything? I don't think it did, but... Fuck off! You didn't show me that eye the first time! I hate how I solved it. And then I unsolved it, and then I solved it. Well, how does that help us? I knew there was something up here. I saw it. I knew there was something. Link! Uh, how do you get back across? How do we get back across? Uh, what? Any 
You're telling me you can't do that? You gotta give me, you gotta give me something here then, chat. Or, come on, chat. You gotta give me something. Uh. Huh. I had to try. <laughs> One more time. This might actually be quicker. We'll grab some fairies. We're like right at the end of the dungeon. What me, Johnny? Give him the old warp, Billy. Get him, Skeeter. Well, I could have made it. Come on, show me your packs. Go on. Where, where did he go? Where did he go? The dude gave up. I feel like the fairies drop weird in this version. Yo, super derpy face. What is good? We were at the end of the shadow temple here. We are making our way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are making our way downtown. Walking fast. Let's go. And he's gone. Alright, this should be our final trip should be the final 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 to end all finals we save the bongo bongo won't even be that hard especially if we keep our bow and arrow on deck I'm more worried about the the dungeons are definitely the harder part of this game. Your favorite boss? He's like the classic Nintendo hand boss. The master hand. Kirby bosses always have them. Mario 64. But yeah, he has a cool design. Wait, uh No, we wanna go the shortcut way. No, 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 that's not, it's, yeah, yeah, it's this room, but it's not that bad. It's like this one. Nope. We might as well use our shortcut we made. Why does Nintendo have a hand fetish? Why don't you? Nintendo sitting there wondering how they're just gonna make more hand bosses. There it is. There it is. Ah! Yo, he was spinning. My man was spinning. Now right, we're back. I love this shortcut thing. I feel like all these Master Quest dungeons have done these little shortcuts, which is really cool. Miyamoto, specifically. 
Have you noticed that when Miyamoto, he's like stepped down, he's like not, I mean, he's still around, but like he's not as involved anymore. You notice the, the decrease in hand bosses? Actually, that's not true at all. Mario Odyssey had a hand boss. Oh, I did the wrong song, shit. It's Zai Zai. Zai? Yeah, Sakurai too. Yeah, they're the same generation. Nintendo being number one for handhelds? Coincidence, I think not. No, it's just because their competitors always did the dumbest shit. The only one that was actually kind of smart was PSP, and they still fucked it up because they did the proprietary memory cards. If PSP just had regular memory cards, like SD cards or whatever, I bet you it would have done a lot better. And it already did amazing. It, it, it did not fail at all. The Game Gear needed six batteries and would die in like two hours and didn't really have that many good games. It had a few good games. A lot of, most of them were like ports and stuff though. Um, there was also the Atari Lynx, but it had the worst control scheme I've ever made. There was the N-Gage, but we don't talk about that. There was uh, the Sega Nomad, which was a Sega Genesis. That was like a portable handheld one you could put cartridges in. It actually looks pretty sick, but it's a little outdated nowadays. Like it, the backlight kind of sucks and stuff. No idea how you're supposed to solve that legit. We solved it our way. Uh, I need a key for that. It's like literally the last rooms of the dungeon. Temple. Life. World. Link. Oh god. I hope I don't need bombs. Oh, they gave you bomb flowers. Cool. Like, hope we don't need bombs. Link! Link! Money we don't need. Oh, it was right there. Pop control game. Okay, in the door. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? The wall looks way more hardcore in this version. Oh god, we just made them more powerful! Isn't this where the boss key is in the original? Dun, 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 Yo, the boss key looks sick. I never noticed it had a skull in it. Whoa. Dun, 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 I want to get to the end of this place without losing my shield or my tunic. That would be cool for me, game. I need to know which way to go. Good times.
Look, I found their, like, creepy sex- the Bongo Bongo's creepy sex room. Should- should I be concerned? You know what, we're just gonna leave. We never did find the compass. Wait, was this the, the door I just went through? Okay, cool. Ba -ba -ba -la -la -da -da -da. You ain't fooling me, Bongo Bongo. I saw that fancy swinging chair. And all those paddles for paddling. Oh, you better believe that's a paddling. Save. All right, time to fuck. This is good timing. We'll fuck up Bongo Bongo. And then we get to save Mario's weed. When I was a kid, I used to always just wear the hover boots all the time. I don't know why. Does it make it harder? But I'd always do it. I'd always rock them. Yo, look at this little chamber. This little fucking... What's with the deal with Bongo Bongo sex chambers? I demand an answer. Oh, the drum looks sick. Yeah, it does make you look more badass. I feel like the drum analogy works better. Bongo Bongo hates giving hand jobs, though. Yeah, the, the hand, the drums. The drum looks like an actual drum. Come on! Come on, look at those calluses! Where is he? Fight me, you coward! I love things that don't dance. Dance, Link! Dance! Too fancy. Hey, what are you doing, Bongo? Get racked. Be methodical. Be methodical. I never really got to see what his body looked like before. Like, I never really thought of him as, like, a body, like, hanging from the ceiling. I always thought of him as, like, a floating ghost thing. Interesting. Like, I never thought he was connected to the ceiling. GG! The only bad part about Bongo Bongo is that it's such an easy fight. That's funny. I always thought he was, like, a ghost thing. I never thought of him as, like, a hanging... But it makes sense. He's like, I, I feel dumb now. He's literally like a wall master, but like the full thing. He's basically like a, a, a full size wall master. I never thought about that before. Yeah, right? Like, it, 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 it actually kind of reminds me of Dark Souls. Like, those big guys who like chill there with the fucking tridents and shit. Huh. I feel dumb now. I never realized he's like King Wall Master. My life's a lie. The boy with the noble Zelda's ocarina. As I expected you have come. I am Impa, one of the Shikia. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I also am the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. 
We Shikia have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked. And Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys of the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family. The Ocarina of Time. They said it! They said it! My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When I last saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a wee little lad. You were just a young boy, Galileo, Galileo. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about with your big anime eyes, Link. The princess is safe now. Soon you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six sages, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. Hell yeah! I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now, put my power, which should be helpful to you, except not at all in this version of the game, into this medallion. Let's go. You receive the Shadow Medallion, and Pooh Awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. That's not the only thing she's adding. Please look out for the princess. 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 Oh yeah. All right. Well, we have finished the Shadow Temple. We have vanquished Bongo Bongo. We have kicked his ass, called him Charlie, wiped his the floor with him, made him look stupid, gave him a bag of chips, had him open it, make them eat him, then make him eat some more chips while doing other stuff. Good times. I don't even know where my analogy was going. 